Hey Tribe, Coach Will here. I wanted to share today with you a mindset practice. The theme of this mindset today is perspective. Uh, perspective can mean a myriad of things. Um, we all have life experience, current experiences, and things that we're working through, and uh, on both the good and and possibly negative spectrum of things right now in particular is a time that can be challenging uh specifically with you know coming inside and looking within we're we're uh out less often we have less social engagement right now so there's a lot of processing going on so i wanted to bring to you a tool of um uh, practice with mindset that you can use uh, it's a quick tool and is very valuable for gaining perspective all right, guys, so I wanted to bring you out into the backyard. As I mentioned today, the weather's too nice not to enjoy. I want you to find a nice spot in your house or your yard, somewhere you can sit down, relax, maybe a yoga mat, a meditation pillow. I've chosen my hammock. This is uh, one of my favorite spots. So the practice today is, uh, is going to be three 30-second visualizations and then moving on to something we can put into play or into action um, in, in our daily lives inside and around our house. Um, the first portion of the visual, visualization, um, each one will be 30 seconds. The first portion is around what is the toughest challenge for you in particular right now during this um, COVID in-home situation. Um, what is the toughest thing? So we're going to take a few seconds here, 30 seconds. You can start your own clock if you like to just visualize and center in on what is that toughest challenge for you. I like to close my eyes, slow down, regulate my breath. Spend about 30 seconds here. Okay, Trad, after about 30 seconds there, you probably will come up with something that for you is, is your greatest challenge. Uh, for me in particular, it's patience, um, being stuck in and uh, not being able to get as much done as I would like to. Um, again, perspective around what's getting done and what is, in, is important. But for me, patience is a reoccurring challenge. Um, the next 30 second period we're gonna go through is what has been the toughest challenge I've ever encountered or you've ever encountered in life. So we'll take another 30 seconds here, relax the eyes, relax the breath, and think about the toughest challenge you have ever encountered. So slowly coming back. Um, now, most likely you've visualized or seen or felt something uh, in the emotional body that connects with being the toughest time for you that you've experienced in life. Uh, mine comes up pretty quick. It's a period of time that I spent in prison. Um, interestingly enough, during this COVID-19 thing and the, the, the time that I spent in prison, 
the, the same subject comes up as my challenge is that patience. Um, it took a lot of time to get into a groove during the time that I was in prison to find that balance and find peace of mind and you know keep maintaining a positive mentality though I had X amount of time to um, just be with the space that I was in. Um, so patience, again, the challenging. So I've got the challenge. I've got patience in both of my current with the COVID-19 and also in my past with the toughest challenge of my life, which was going to prison. Um, so patience is my theme. So the third 30 seconds that we're gonna do is around how you got through that toughest challenge. So we're gonna look at that for 30 seconds, we're gonna feel into that and remember how you got through personally that particular challenge, the one that was the toughest for you in your life. Relax the eyes, relax the breath. and slowly coming back. So after sitting for that third 30 seconds, thinking about how you got through that toughest challenge, um, a couple of things may come to mind um, for me in particular, and you can jot these down and keep a journal on any of these thoughts. It's recommended as we um, work on the daily practice here that I'll describe in a minute as well to have some journal notes. Um, for me, it was all about patience, um, resilience, fortitude, and also gratitude. Um, being in prison, waking up with gratitude for the relationships that I, I had, uh, though limited with my family, they were there, and um, that was a huge, huge piece. Relationships that I had while in prison uh, with Coach Lorenzo for a large portion of the time, and then with many, many people that I met who are, you know, believe it or not, very kind souls and had made bad decisions as I had. Um, so relationships were a huge part of it. Finding a daily mental space and a practice. Um, working out was great for me. That's when I started doing CrossFit and other things that I could find that were practices, that were daily things that centered me and honed in on a positive mentality to lead towards patience. Those were my keys. So moving on to the daily practice that we're going to try to work on for one week in the next week or start it whenever you can and continue it for one week is find a space in your house, an area that needs some attention, is dusty, is cluttered, whatever it might be, somewhere that needs attention. And we're going to use a metaphor of that space and find an emotional or a mental space inside our daily lives that also needs work and attention. We're gonna marry those two things in our mind's eye. So the space in your house and the space in your emotional field or your mentality that needs work right now that you would like to work on. We're gonna take five minutes a day on the space in your house. First day might be cleaning and organizing. Second day might be just standing and spending time there or adorning the wall or whatever it may be, the area with some, uh, some ornaments or an altar of some kind. Then the five minutes we're gonna take for the body and the mental space, the emotional space and the mentality is working on those attributes that you want to bring in patience, fortitude, gratitude. Think about those feelings in that emotional space, bring them into the emotional space and the mentality. So we're gonna spend time in the physical realm, we're gonna spend time in the emotional realm, working for five minutes each for one week. That's my challenge to you this week, guys, for our mentality segment. Start this anytime you like. This is a great practice. Stay there for one week, practice for five minutes on one side and five minutes on the other, and we'll see what develops. Feel free to reach out to me, let me know how things are going, what your challenges were, what your positive uh, emotions and positive attributes and mentalities you brought in were. And uh, yeah, Tribe, that's a great practice. It's helped me a lot and I plan on doing it again soon. Bring it back in whenever you need a little bit more practice. Thank you, Trout. Have an awesome day and keep strong. Enjoy the spring weather. We'll see you soon.